Good day, my friends. Today, the plan is to remove all the steps, come to the basement, because they're all beat up. They're old, and we're gonna replace them with new steps. Um, this is my first time doing this kind of work. So, so you guys know, I'm no professional. We're just gonna do our best. Before we start, these are the tools you're probably gonna need. You're gonna need, gonna need a couple of hammers, a heavy one, a carpenter one, use safety glasses, a prying tool, gloves, and I'm gonna have this available in case I need it. You don't necessarily have to have this, but um, at least these right here, because basically what you're gonna do is break this and take it apart, right? And then have a place to put it, either outside or inside the house, wherever you want to put it in the meantime till you discard it properly. All right, guys, if you're wondering, so far I got the first, the top step off. It's right over there, right outside. But if you're wondering how you're going to start this, this is basically what you do. You know, you just break it, you just hit it. You just start going to town. Mine is coming up easy because it's all rotted out and old. But it's that easy just be careful with nails and you know sharp nails there's going to be spiders coming up and everything else but make sure you don't fall into the hole you're making but it's that easy it's all demolition that's all it is maybe if you have a mask you can wear a mask yeah so either way it's looking so far but I'm only like maybe 10 minutes into it. It's that easy. I was hoping I could find a treasure down here. There's nothing. Anyway, that's basically it. So I'm gonna continue on going and I'll show you when it's done. I ended up grabbing my pry bar because I think I'm gonna need that too. This section right here. I don't know if you can see that, but this right here. I really gotta get some better recording with um, equipment. So it's all with the phone. <laughs> you can imagine the trouble I go through. Well, I can't see anything there, so I'll stop the video here. So I ended up using the sawzo, and um, cause I was hammering on this Three last steps, they're, they're in good condition actually, compared to the top ones. So they were giving me a hard time. So I ended up just using the saw saw and cutting straight here. And I might just cut over here too, just to break it apart and be able to remove it. So yeah, and another thing guys, I ended up using a pry bar. A longer pry bar, like the one I use for stuff. It's a longer one. I haven't, I haven't used this guy. I mean, it's good to have, but I haven't had the need yet to use it. All right, just so you know. 
So I got everything out, all the materials outside. Um, let's recap on what I did. I ended up using the big hammer and this bar. Not so much the little one. Um, I ended up using this also, this guy. And now I'm cleaning with a vacuum. I forgot to tell you guys, you also need a vacuum, but again, you can use a, a broom and a dustpan and put everything in a bag. I gather some of the stuff, the big stuff, and I, I did use a bag, but um, yeah, so th this is what I got so far. For the next part, the installation part, I'm probably gonna need more tools that I have somewhere. For example, the drill or the impact to drill the the pieces to the wall. These pieces, I'll show you. I'm telling you. These, right? So they gotta be somehow, somehow they gotta be bolted to the wall. I don't know if I'm gonna use all three of them or just two, but um, I think three, you know, one in the center and two to the side. And in my case, the floor has these indentations for the, the side pieces. So I don't know how that's gonna work. But anyway, I gotta figure it out. I'll do something, I still gotta remove these. It's a part of the wood on this side. But I'm almost there. Okay, fellas, so now I got the stringers where I want them and uh, modify, because I had to modify them, I had to cut them. <clears throat> take some over here out of this side even change the angle a little bit even cut down here to make this a little shorter just so they could fit in the space that i have <clears throat> now i'm past that i decided that they're good for me and i am bolting it bolting them to the to the wall and this is what i'm using so i ended up buying these at home depot And they come with a bit and they come with a drill bit. So they come with a driving bit and a drill bit for the for the wall, for the concrete or block, concrete blocks. The first thing you but you gotta what you gotta do is you gotta drill a hole into your wood, into your stringer, with an actual um with an actual bit for wood. Right? You drill that first and then then you use the concrete bit actually wait this is the wood bit the one with the tip like that okay this is the wood bit so you make the hole here first and then you use the provided bit for the concrete go in there make your hole then and you use the drive-in bit for the for the screws, for the blue ones. And um, so far I got two. So far so good. Got another hole here that I gotta work on. Kind of messed that one up. And then I'm gonna put maybe one more down there. Same thing on this side. And this should be good to go. They're not gonna move. They're not gonna go anywhere. And I'll show you the next step for the steps. Okay, the stringers are ready in place where I want them, and they're bolted to the wall. And like I was showing you pre in the previous video, or section of the video, again, just to make sure it's clear, um, these are the screws I bought, and the size, at Home Depot, and they come with the drill bit for the concrete, and they also come with a driving bit. This is the driving bit. This is the, the drill bit for the concrete. But for the wood, you have to pre-drill the wood too. So I had a set of my own that I bought at Walmart a long time ago, and it has um, wood drill bits. So you have to have this to make that work, okay? And they're nice in place, secure where they need to be. Now I'm gonna work on the on the steps or what are they call they call them threads threads yeah something like that but anyway the steps that go across 
and I'll show you how that's coming out. And oh, for what I'm gonna use for those, I'm gonna these. These are the screws that I'm gonna use for for, the, for decks. Um, I, just like the wood is um is made for for outside, like a decking, like when you're making a deck or steps or decks. They're um what are they call chemical treated, yeah, chemical treated wood. And these are for outside for decks again, Home Depot. This is what I'm using. You guys can use whatever you feel that you you can use for your project. But this is what I'm using to give you an idea. And this is how it's coming along. I ended up cutting. Um, these measure about 39 inches and a quarter. But some of them you got to cut a little bit more. Because, you know, it's not perfect. But this is how it's coming out. I think it's coming out pretty good. Pretty level, pretty nice. The screws are going in pretty easy. It's no big deal. I might end up putting boards on here to make it look, dress it up better. But even if I don't do it, it's still gonna look good. But I'm still, I, I, I'm thinking, yeah, for sure, finished products gonna have those, what are they called, risers? Yeah. Risers. I gotta learn the terminology. <laughs> I won't sound stupid on the video, but anyway, um, these are called steps, threads. The risers are gonna go here to cover the hole, and these are stringers, the ones on the side. Okay. Here it is, guys. Finished product. All done. I like the way it came out. I'm happy with it. I wish this step was a little higher, but. That's all I could do with what I had and with the knowledge that I have. I think it worked out pretty good. It's not perfect, but I guess it's good enough. And it works. Holds my weight. And go up and down. I'm happy with it. I just got to clean up my mess. So if you like it, guys, hope this helped. Give me a like. Follow me for more content. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, guys.